uh, here you have uh, rule number three uh, eliminate from consideration any dominated strategies and in other words strategies that are never best responses and go on doing so successive, successively and this is taken from page 121 of the art of strategy uh, the example here is um, two competitors, Rainbow's End and BB Lean. They are thinking about um, how to price their product. And uh, you could uh, imagine that they have been uh, making a uh, market survey. And uh, in this uh, market survey, they have uh, found that if their price is 42, or 41, or 40, or 39, what would their result, the bottom line, end up as? Well, once again, you would sort of imagine that, OK, let's look at where the, uh, where the bottom line is the highest. Or you might imagine that, OK, where would be the uh, red bottom line plus the, uh, the black bottom line combined or in other words their average be the highest but no this is not the way you play these games uh, uh, what you do is you uh, you have a look at uh, each uh, price and see what your optimal uh, solution would be if the other player is taking this price. So have a look at the um, first column. So the 42 column. So that is, let's, in other words, let's imagine that, uh, and here we have it on the slide, that BB Lean has chosen price 42. Or in other words, what if they choose price 42? What is your best op uh, option as black? What should you choose? And if you go along this column and you look at 43,120, 43,260, and so forth, your best option is the one which has been underlined and which is also in bold, the 43,260. Now, uh, and uh, following this logic, you go on to 41. What if BB line, uh, Lean chooses 41? What is your best option? And it is the 41,600. You look at 40. What is your best option? It is the 40,000. 39. What is your best option? It's the 38,400. And then 38. What's your best option? 36. 1860 and hence you have found as the ones in bold and black are your best options in other words your best responses now you also need to look this the other way around what if you are red and in other words BB lean and your competitor is rainbow's end so if rainbow's end locks if you like the uh, the, uh, the 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 row of 42, what is red's best option? And you can see it there. It's uh, uh, 43,260. Next, you lock lock the next row 41, and you will notice that the best option is 41,600. And you go on to 40, and you notice red's, be red's best option is 40,000. At 39, red's best option is in bold, the 38,400. And at 38, it's 36,860. Now from this, if you look at it uh, carefully, you will notice that uh, If you look at the row 42 for black, none, whatever BB Lean chooses, 42 
for black is never a best option. The same, and you can see these in the next slide, the same also applies for 38. Uh, Rainbow's ends never underlined any of the uh, black figures in the row of 38. So you can eliminate these. You can also um, eliminate from the uh, red side, you can eliminate here we go, sorry. Uh, on the red side, for BB Lean, none of the red figures in the column of 42 were ever a best response, so you can eliminate those. And also for the 38, they were never a best response. You can eliminate them. And what do you end up with when you have eliminated these rows and columns? you end up with something which looks like this. And here, when you look at this, you will notice that uh, actually, in all cases, the red baby BB lean would choose 40. And in all cases, the black rainbow's end would also choose 40. So having eliminated all the dominated strategies, at the end of the day, the only rational option would be for BB Lean to have price 40 and Rainbow's End also to have price 40. Now, once again, you might be asking the question, well, this is not their combined best option. But please be reminded that the only way they can get a better option is that if they agree, in other words, if they fix the price, and fixing a price in a market is a cartel. Another way of saying this is that if you see a, uh, a, a price which seems to be fixed, then there must be a cartel behind it. So game theory can give you some very, very interesting insights to how pricing uh, should be made and if any deviations from uh, playing fair uh, have been used. Thank you.